Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is your host, Mr. Pittsburgh Steelers, and today we're um we're gonna talk about what if Wednesday. And uh, today's scenario is what if this is the end, guys? Um, what if the world is coming to an apocalyptic end, just like in the movie? This is the end. What would you do? What would I do? Well, here's the response to what I would do. So, <clears throat> what I would do is. I would find my way to the nearest military uh, outpost or base, and I would bunker down. On my way there, I would stop at Costco, Sam's Club, BJ's, or um, some other grocery store near you, and I would pick up as much supplies as I could. Uh, from there, I would f- pass a gas station, and I would pick up the uh, pick up some gas, use some gas cans, you know, get fueled up. Because we might need that for planes or helicopters or uh, tanks or any other vehicles uh, you can find at a military base. From there, I would um, pretty much find some military personnel. Be like, yo, bro, I got some food. You got the weapons and the skills. You guys protect me and I'll provide for you. And uh, from then, we would uh, build a small society and grow and thrive in a, uh apocalyptic scenario. Um... This is The End, starring Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen, uh, James Franco, and some other guys. Um, Jonah Hill, uh, if I haven't said him already. These guys, oh, fuck, these guys are wicked funny. Um, I love the movie Pineapple Express. If you haven't seen the movie Pineapple Express, then uh, definitely check it out, because it is an excellent movie. Um, it's about weed, really, but it's fun. It's funny. So... Uh, it's made by the same people made by them, and it is out since Friday, I believe. Um, I'm not sure on that, but it, it's fa- it's fairly new. You could probably find it in any of your movie theaters uh, close to you. Um, it could be. Oh, I'm gonna burp. No, uh, maybe not. That's some beef jerky today. Um, it's most likely gonna be in any movie theaters around you. It's gonna be rated R, most likely, because it's rated R here. Um, so yeah, that's what I would go with rated R. Um, yeah, one of Wednesday is uh, pretty good. If you have any other things, um, make sure to put them in the comment. Any scenarios you guys want to hear my opinion on, and uh, leave a like and a subscription now. So now we're gonna touch briefly on um, on what's going on with the next gen consoles, and uh, you know what? Fuck it, I'm not even gonna talk about that shit because nobody knows. Um, E3 is looking pretty badass. We saw a glimpse of the left, uh, no, Dead Rising 3. We saw a glimpse of that. Looks pretty awesome. Um, we saw some Call of Duty Ghost stuff I don't even want to talk about. We saw Watch Dogs, which looks fucking awesome. Um, and we also saw some Halo or some Destiny. And uh, I saw a picture on, uh,. I believe, I have no clue what it was on Facebook or whatever, but it actually has a picture that says uh, on Halo ODST in the city on one of the poster boards, it says Destiny Awaits, and it has a picture of Earth with like, the big ass globe thing, the little circle. Um, Destiny, looks like a great game, going to be picking that up. Watch Dogs, another great game, going to be picking that up. So if you want to see that, um, around Christmas time, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and because uh, I'm gonna definitely be doing let's plays of that, because that just looks amazing and uh, very very entertaining. So I hope you guys are liking the Battlefield 3 gameplay. Um, we're gonna be moving on to Battlefield 4 gameplay soon. I'm getting all excited. Uh, it looks very very sexy, and uh, coming from the 30 frames per second of Battlefield 3, we're gonna be moving to the 60 frames per second on Battlefield 4. And that is just one beautiful noise, um, sound to hear, facts to hear. Um, if you do not know what frames per second is, basically whenever you blow up a vehicle in Battlefield 3, you can try this. If you blow up a lot of them with a lot of explosives at one time, your game will kind of like fuck up. It, uh, it kind of like freezes for a second or some shit like that. Or look all like really slow motion. And that's because your console, due to its life uh, cycle, its graphics card is too low to handle the uh, to to handle the explosions on the uh, screen. But um, yeah, I hope you guys liked Talkative Tuesday. This is uh, What If Wednesday. Friday we're gonna have a uh, another video. 
of uh and Monday we're also gonna have another video. A marvelous Monday video, you know. It's gonna be very fun. Well I hope you guys like the com. Like I said earlier, if uh, you wanna leave a like then uh, that'd be bomb get me out there let's see if we can get 10 likes on this video um, if you want to subscribe if you haven't already that'd be also cool you know stop by see what's coming up for the next week and uh, always have a good day guys always have a fantastic day leave um, I also wanted to talk about I've, I've been getting requests for uh, like live streaming with with um, subscribers so, first, um, I think we're going to mark that at the 180 subscriber count. So once I reach 180 subs, we'll do that. And uh, what games do you guys want to see on that live stream? Call of Duty, maybe. Battlefield, probably. I don't know, some other games, like uh, maybe not Homefront. Um, Red Dead Redemption, I feel like that'd be fun. Borderlands 2, anything like that, guys. Um, leave a comment on what you guys think. Leave a comment on uh, for Marvelous Monday next week um, on what class you guys want to see. And that is it. Uh, have a good day. Always enjoy your day. Go outside. Go fart and have unicorns fall out of your ass. I don't know. Have a good day, guys. And I'm out.